Welcome back guys, we're back again with another tutorial. This time we're going to be going over how to make multiple worlds and we're going to be using Multiverse Core for this. So before we actually download the plugin, we're going to stop our server and then we're going to head on over to Files and we're going to go to the plugin list. So we've searched, I've just put in Multi there, you can search in Multiverse and it'll come up straight away as you can see there. We've got Multiverse Core and then we've got a number of other ones that you can add to it like the portals, nether portals, inventories and other neat stuff like that. But for this instance, we're just going to be going to Multiverse Core. So we can of course show how you can actually add uh, different worlds, TP between them and stuff like that. So for this instance we're going to be using 1.16 which is 4.2.2 uh, which correlates with this version so we're going to install this one. Of course if you have downloaded the plugin externally or through uh, the bucket site you can of course upload that through your FTP file access or just doing that through FileZilla. And we do have videos that will show you exactly how to do that. If you want to see, then just check it out on the Seeker Host knowledge base. However, we have now downloaded and installed it, so we're going to start our server back up. So now we've headed on over to our server, and we're just going to join. We're in our world now. However, we want to have another world because this one's, let's say, just survival, and we want to have a minigames world. You're going to head on over to your chat bar and type MV followed by create. Then you're going to put the actual name of the world that you want. So we're going to put minigames. And at this point, we're going to choose what sort of world we want, whether we want normal, end, or the nether. So we're just going to go for normal. So with that done, I'm just going to hit create, and you can see starting creation of world minigames. And we're now creating a second world. Once you see the little message saying complete, you have now uh, created successfully the new world. If you create a few worlds and you're not sure um, what ones they are, what the, uh, what the names are called, you can just do MV list, and it will just give you a list of your worlds. And if you want to travel between worlds, it's forward slash MV TP and then just follow it by the world name. So we're just going to do mini games. And there we go. Quick as that, I've now loaded onto my new world, which is now called mini games. Now, of course, the TP back, all you've got to do is just type the last world name. So in this case, it was C. So in this case, it was Seeker Host, and we're just going to press Enter, and we're going to get taken straight back to this world here. So this is why you saw that they did have other plugins as well, because of course you can now create portals between different places to make TPing much easier without having to use commands. Of course, you're going to need the operate uh, the operator status on here to actually be able to create these, or if you have moderators or admins, just give them the relevant permissions. And of course, I'll leave a link in the description uh, just to show you where to go to the wiki page. It's extremely helpful, and we'll probably head there now just to check out some of it because it'll show you all relevant commands and permission nodes that you might need but before we head there one more neat little feature is that you can actually import worlds and um, let's say if you've downloaded one externally you might have downloaded another map for let's say planet minecraft um, and you want to import it in um, you can do that very easily so let's say you come on to the planet minecraft and you want to download this sky wars holiday map all you got to do is just download the file and then just once you've logged into your filezilla just drag and drop the world let's say if this was actually the world called links just drag it over and place it on your server once you've placed the world on there, just make sure that it's uh, named correctly or you remember the actual name. So let's say this was the new world that I just dragged and dropped in. Seeker host, I'd have to spell it exactly like that to import it in. And then once you download your file, all you've got to do is do forward slash MV import. And then this is where you put the name spelled exactly as it is. So let's say mine was called um, cat, would write cat. And then after that, you can follow it by what sort of world you want it to be placed in, whether it be normal. Uh, nether or the end and of course you can change your configurations over for it just by going over to your configuration files under the server settings if you come down a bit you're going to find configuration yml this is the actual configuration for the multiverse shouldn't really change anything on this but if you do this is where you change it obviously you know change it from true to false etc hit save if you have changed anything and then back out and another neat one is the world's yml here if you don't want to change it from in game you can actually come over here and it'll give you all the stats and you know what you can do in each world so for this one that i've made is mini game and you can change anything from whether pvp is true and um, whether you can spawn monsters spawn um, and pretty much everything in your world and all your worlds will be listed here so as you can see it's come down to the smp world and now you can see these are all the settings for that so let's say if i just want to change my mini game world um, so pvp isn't actually on i'm going to change true to false then i'm going to hit save you're going to see here config file saved and just to make sure i come back and restart my server and if you pop over to the wiki multiverse page, uh, which again I'll leave the link for in the description, you can find all sorts of things, some big old list of commands, uh, command references, um, list of world properties you can edit, and all that sort of good stuff. And this helps if you actually want to add the permission nodes um, to a player or a certain group on your server. So thanks for watching, I hope that's helped. For any more videos like this, don't forget to check out the Seeker Host video knowledge base, and of course my channel. Bye bye.